Hello YouTube and welcome to our KSP ComSat Deployer Special. Today we will be building a ComSat Deployer ship that will do two functions. One is deploy three communication satellites uh, in the orbit around Kerbin, uh, Kerbin and the second one shall be that we it will go and deliver also Lutz and Kerman to the orbit because, well, he's the tourist and he'd like to see things and he has paid some good money to go there. So, that's what uh, we will be building in today's episode. Uh, we are doing the rapid build, as you can see, we are using the parts from the KSP 1.4 and uh, I typically start with a capsule that will be deploying and then I build upwards with a reversed tricoupler simply because it's easier to deploy that way right uh and uh i'm sorry if, i know that you guys are used to the kerbal engineering uh episode uh, having a special you know thumbnail in terms of what is being built but the mod that i've been using that in my interplanetary voyage of exploration uh, the kerbal vessel viewer hasn't been updated so i cannot extract any, uh, you know, uh, pictures from the mod, from the game itself. By the way, if uh, some of you know the KVV working for the 1.4.2, do let me know in the comments below and I might include it for the future episodes of the Kerbal Engineering. Now, we, as you can see, I'm reverse engineering, we're basically doing three COM satellites, each of them having four batteries, uh, octoc probe, and a little bit extra. So I think those will be rather simple relays that will be in low carbon orbit. And, well, not too low carbon orbit, actually, one kilometer orbit. I'm not going for any special, you know, panache like uh, Kerbo stationary or anything like that. It's just a little bit lower orbit so that they are each in the range of each other and basically that they can relay in different ways. If you want to go real hands-on and uh, create stuff and communications network, go check out my uh, KSP Remote Tech series. It's a very old series, playing I think 0 0.90, but uh, it's still uh, it's still valid in terms of you know how it's properly set up the communications network. The parts may be a little bit outdated and the values might be a little bit weak, but the principles stay the same. I'm going to put it on the card that you will see right now. Okay, so with that thing in mind, well, we are continuing to build a deployer. And this is like a, just a transfer stage or, well, not, not technically a transfer, but uh, the stage that should get us to the desired orbit and then help us deploy. The satellites should circularize on them on their own. Okay, why cannot I do that? Previously struts would attach to these bad boys. I have literally no idea why is that not working. But okay, let's connect them like this. Two by two, that works for me. Okay, perfect. There we go. Also, guys, do let me know what you think of uh, both the new format of the career mode. Last episode was a little bit extreme. I didn't want it to last the three minutes. I want it to last up to ten minutes, like this one. Uh, so I'm trying to keep the format a little bit shorter and more, you know, informative and snappy, you know, so it kind of pops. Uh, let me know what you think about it and uh, also let me know what you think about this series because a lot of you requested the Kerbal Engineering. I am reinstating it back, but in the previous uh, previous iterations I was running merely with uh, Kerbal Engineering because I had uh, a huge mod list and everything and I was assembling it. This time I'm assembling once again for you guys so that you can see all that I'm doing, but I'm doing that... Uh, with stock components. Also, just uh, for the record, I tried putting uh, the Kerbal Engineer Redo for some reason. Uh, it works the first time I run it, but the second time I try to load the settings that I have saved, uh, it just goes blank and doesn't want to work. So, if anybody also knows the fix to that, please let me know in the comments below. 
I know that KSP community is awesome and I know that you guys who are watching this are also awesome. So if you do know, and I'm assuming some of you at least are playing with uh, Kerbal Engineer Redo, so let me know. Let me know what would be the correct fix and I will happily apply it. I am not yet sure if I will be applying visual enhancements, but uh, then again, we'll see. Okay, adapters, I put, wanted to put everything in the fairing because uh, it's much simpler to have it run that way and it's also more aerodynamic. So that's what I'm hoping to get out of it. And, uh, and then we want to be putting some big ass thrusters and big ass rockets that would hopefully do the thing. All right, mainsail at the bottom, that should be good enough, I would say. And I want to have a lot of thrusters. And they will be, of course, doing the asparagus staging, of course. All right, there we go. Now let us connect, put tail fins on the sucker and then we will be putting the struts and the fuel lines. So these are the two things that remain to actually be put there. Struts. I have to mention I hadn't I have no idea at the time of this building if this is going to be you know if this is going to be um, enough but um, I just wing I'm just winging it here guys so just for the record However I, I think I've over engineered it by a good margin so I think it should be working fine And then of course I messed it up, so I need to redo the connections again. So fuel connections, no symmetry, there you go. You're going there, you are going there, you are going there, and then you sir are going to the main stack. Same with you guys. It's a little bit, you know, connecting, connecting, but hey, that's good enough. After all, this is KSP. Perfect. Now it's time to do some staging because staging is kind of important. You know, there's this little thing, it's called stage. And when you press it, rockets drop off. And when you press it, you want the right set of rockets to drop off, not the wrong ones, of course. So not you, not you, not you, not you, which leaves only the two of you to be moved to the bottom stack. Thank you. Then uh, not you, not you, not you. I'm here deselecting the ones that I don't want and then I move the remaining two to the stage eight. Then I just have to check which ones I'm taking, you and you. And you are getting moved here, so now the staging should be correct, hopefully. Then the fairing separation, and with the fairing separation I actually might need an additional... Uh, I might need additional uh, stack separator or something. There we go. Looks kind of cool. And as you can see, this, this is pretty much our rocket. So, guys, we're coming up towards the end of this rapid fire design episode, just as soon as I put the decoupler. But uh, be sure to leave a like if you have any questions as to the, the construction of this vessel or any other one, or suggestions what you would like to see being built next. Please do let me know in the comments below, and I am preparing some sort of a special episode that will be retrospective 
from the old series. It's a mini series, three episodes that I recorded a long time ago. But uh, that shall be coming soon. Trademark. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, and this is Grumfork signing off.